Billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. Big booty Judy, she's fast as heck. Big booty Judy, she's faster than death. Happy day, I'm glad. <laughs> and welcome back to our dysfunctional teen family. Our teen girls ran away from home, the emo mom, Melody, over here, who's getting in the tub because she just almost burned the entire new place down. And we've also got Judy Big Booty, who is looking quite sickly, quite thin right now, because all she's had since she moved out is a bowl of Fruit Loops, and Fruit Loops aren't exactly good for maintaining such a glorious booty. So today, we're gonna replace this stove, first of all. Oh, and that's so expensive, we're so broke. Clean it up, who is this lady? People are still here, there's bowls all over the floor. It actually looks like a frat house. Hey neighbor, I'm starving. Can I raid your fridge and have some food? <laughs> How about? Absolutely not. Okay, yeah, clean it up. Clean it up, Judy. Today you're gonna eat all of the cakes. You are going to cook a chocolate cake. Oh, yes you are! And you're actually gonna cook a white cake too because she prefers white cake. Kind of reminds her of her glorious wedding. That hopefully happens one day. We are working on that big booty. I don't know if that goes in cake, Judy. Uh, Judy, are you old enough to be putting a little bit of booze in your cake? Let's see how Melody's doing. She just almost set herself on fire, but she's having fun now! Do you remember, Melody? You have a kid. Oh, the kid's sleeping though, that's not too bad. And look at this. Two teen sisters who ran away from home who are making a life for themselves. I'm so proud. Ow! This guy again. What's cooking good looking? <laughs> Smells great in the hallway. What are you cooking? Can I have some? He wants to come in so bad. Excuse me, lady, did I offer you any of that cake? Judy, eat it. Eat it all before somebody else does. Melody. Melody. Your baby's crying. How are you just sleeping through this? What's wrong with you? Take care of that baby. What? Why is he wearing glasses? He looks like Harry Potter. What, he wants a toilet? Oh. What is this? Melody! Melody! What is he doing? Give him a bath. No, he's going for the cake. That's Judy's cake. Judy, yell at him. Judy better get in here quickly before that kid eats her cake. Judy's looking in the mirror right now. She just, I feel like she's having an existential crisis. She doesn't really know what to do with her life. She likes gold digging. She likes guys with, you know, big wallets, big thick wallets. And I, I don't really know. I don't really know how to fulfill her in such a way. He's eating the cake. This kid is just living the dream over here. Oh, wow. Puts the plate on the floor. What are these people? <gasps> oh, Melody, Kajomo's ghost. Thinks your shit stinks? Kajomo's here to visit his son. D why is the baby naked? Why is the baby naked? Kajomo? Will you stay the night, baby? I missed you. We got a kid now. How's being dead? Wait, I'm just realizing something now. Ever since this lady walked in the room, Kajomo was here too. Is Kajomo at the party? Hello? It is 11.51 PM. I want to go to bed, old lady. Come on, let's go have some ghost sex. Come on, let's go. The kid wants attention, but Kajomo's ghost doesn't come back every single day. Oh. They have nowhere to go because Judy Big Booty be sleeping! Teen Dream Single. This is what Judy Big Booty is gonna be sleeping in from now on because I'm so done with her ruining Melody's sex life. Judy, get out of bed and go spray the monster under the bed. I mean, it is a teen bed. What can you do? What? You don't like your new bed? Okay, m Judy Big Booty really doesn't like this cheap bed. She's very used to the best and, uh,. She's not having the best dreams. She's having nightmares in this bed. I thought it was called the Sweet Dreams bed. Maybe it's the fact that she's sleeping next to a ghost. I just realized that I have to buy the kid a bed too. Okay, let's do that then. Let's just put beds everywhere. This kid is looking at Judy and crying. Who is this skank living in my house with me? She looks like a rainy day. Judy is Snapchatting a picture of her stink cake. Hurry up, Melody. Cook this kid some food. I'm so nervous right now. Do not, do not burn the house down, please. Please. Oh, oh, okay, that's that's fine. Pretend it didn't happen. Please no fire, please no fire, please no fire. The little kid is watching. Cook like a chef, don't you? Stop! Please. Okay. But, no, 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 you gotta feed the kid. You gotta feed the... Melody, the kid's trying to... Oh, the kid got his own. <gasps> he couldn't reach it! Feed the kid! Oh no, the kid is passing out. I don't know how to feed this kid. I think this kid might die. The kid is not gonna starve to death. Look at the poor thing. Give food to Ferd! Oh, he can't eat bacon and eggs? It's news to me. Give him some applesauce. This kid is starving. Melody, please do something. She just wants to cook for herself. She is unbelievably selfish. And here comes Kajomo to save the day. Wait. Kajomo's in human form. 
Today's mail has been delivered? Pfft, who cares? Kajomo legit came over to put the kid in the chair, and then he left. And now the kid is feeding himself. He went to the party after! My suspicions were right! He better not be making love in there. Oh! Okay, she's like, don't you, don't you do that, don't you do that. Well, why don't you feed him then? Melody just wants to take care of herself. Look, she's looking down at this child like, Hello, have you even been to the first grade? I know you're tired. It's stressful being a mom, isn't it? Oh, and right when I go to bed, Kajomo, I feel like Kajomo doesn't like me. He was a lot sweeter when he was a ghost. I didn't even ask for him to not be a ghost anymore. He's just all of a sudden not a ghost. Of course, he's watching his Asian TV shows. <laughs> Judy is done with school for the day. She's doing satisfactory work, but her teachers at Buckingham High think she could easily improve with just a little bit of extra effort. Well, you're talking to Judy Big Booty here. She's not exactly an extra effort kind of girl, but she does love a nice white cake. Judy is so sad that she's just listening to some emo music that Melody put on while she's trying to cook. She doesn't really know who she is anymore. She... Her cooking skills aren't that great, but she's baking a damn cake. It's going straight to her ass. And I think she needs to get out of here. I think she needs to get away from all this family stuff. I think it's stressing her out a little bit. Look at her! I've never seen her so sad in my entire life. What's cooking? Oh, you're not coming in. You are not coming in here. I know you're just here to see Kajomo. No! Kajomo! Hi! I'm your love, not this old lady. She's trying to remember who she used to be. Selfies. Money. Big booty, slamming that fridge shut. Why are you so tense? School must have worn her out. It's hard being the most popular girl at school that nobody likes. All right, guys, Judy Big Booty is sick of this. She is done. She's passing out on the floor. She hates her bed. She won't even sleep in it. Sleep in it, please. She's got zero energy right now, but she hates her bed so much she doesn't want to sleep in it. She's tired of this kid. She's tired of Kajomo, who just dies and then comes back all of a sudden. Most importantly, Judy Big Booty has zero fun. Like, her fun is at an all-time low. She's so bored, and I think she needs to go on a spiritual retreat because all she's been doing is sitting around, eating cake, and listening to this little puke cry for cake. Wake up, Melody. You're taking care of him. Judy Big Booty is having a snooze. After she has her snooze, she's going straight to the bathroom. She's turning off this music. She's having a little more cake. And then she's leaving. So take care of your baby, Melody. The baby stinks. And of course he wants cake. Are you taking after Auntie Big Booty, little guy? Someone's crying. Melody? Melody, why are you crying? Is this some postpartum stuff, Melody? Everyone in this house is stressed out. She's so sad too, oh my goodness. And you. I'll never forgive you for what you've done. Well, it wasn't really your fault that you died, but I'll never forgive you for taking so long to come back? Partying with the neighbors, Kajomo? Partying with that old lady who always wants a piece of our cake? Our cake is the only thing that brings us happiness, Kajomo. He's eating another piece of cake? I, I, I don't know if this is the healthiest way for the baby to live. He's gonna turn out just like Grandpa Hanzo. Hi, Kajomo. Oh, Kajomo, you have a child. You know that, right? You can't just have a cake in the nude. Nips. He says nips. Come on, baby. We're leaving. What, are you going back to bed again? Everyone's depressed. Look at the look on her face. I've never seen more horror from a spoiled little rich girl, little gold digger, than this sleeping in this very tacky. I'll give her that. It's quite tacky. Hey, neighbor, remember to pay your rent on time. Just drop your payment in the mailbox right outside the end of your door. Uh, rent? I forgot about rent. Hi! Hey, rent's in the mail. If it's not there, then you must have lost it. So that's just the way. We only got 8.9. So that's all. I'm sorry, you're not entitled to any of that. Why is the rent so expensive? Can't I just hide from it? No, thumbs down. I can pay you with cake? Maybe french fries? No, you will not be doing that. Oh no, Judy, she's getting a dose of the real world out here. She's angry. That's it, kick his ass. Kick his ass, yo, no, she doesn't want to pay rent. She's not paying rent, you crazy? Oh wait, why isn't her drink spilling? Oh, cause it's frozen. Judy is skipping school today. She brought a little friend with her, a little cutie from school, and she is going on a little retreat in her high heels, which is kind of unfitting. She's in a park and she's about to go hiking. Darling is single, this guy's name is Darling. I mean, okay. Darling is unflirty. Okay, come on, Judy. 
You shouldn't have brought this guy. Big Booty Judy is going for a stroll. Big Booty Judy's got some rolls, but the good kind, cause she's got the biggest booty. She's running in her heels. Big Booty Judy, she's fast as heck. Big Booty Judy, she's faster than death. Judy, where are you? Okay, so Judy brought her hammer. She was gonna smash Darling with it, but fortunately, there's a little thing she can open here. It's open! Get in there, Judy! Uh, you stink now, that's too- She forgot to wear deodorant this morning. She thought she wasn't going to school. Get in there, Judy. As we travel, we'll notice that the fun meter will go up, up, and away. Hopefully Judy's into this kind of thing. Doesn't really seem like it, but we'll see. Judy? Judy, you can't just leave me out here. No need to try something dangerous. Judy creeps down the main branch and spies through the dim remaining. Light a switchback headed gradually up, and a rickety ladder headed down. I'm gonna climb that ladder. Judy carefully plunges into a black abyss, groping her way along the splintery rungs. After a long descent, a faint azure light starts to fill the expanse below. She can step off onto a dim, mossy precipice or continue into the blue. She's gonna step onto the ledge. <whistles> Judy, how's it going in there? She seems pretty tense. I can't really see what she's doing. Ah. A soft, mossy path leads Judy effortlessly onward until she spies the entranceway to a beautiful grotto. Travel to the grotto. Would you like to send Judy to the Forgotten Grotto? Yes, this is where Judy is gonna go to wind down, to find herself, to get away from the cakes and the screaming babies and the abandoned husbands and the depressed Melody who's usually emo but she's extra emo lately. She's going to the grotto. Here she is! She's at the grotto. It is 2.54 p.m. It's really, really dark in here. I don't know if Judy's gonna be able to take many selfies in here. Do you even have reception in here? <laughs> I don't know how to live without my phone. What are you embarrassed about? You're the only person in here! Look for frogs, my baby girl! Get in touch with nature. I know you didn't exactly wear frog searching attire, but... You're Judy Big Boo- No, it's not a pen. You're looking for frogs. Ooh, Judy found a hypno frog. Is this gonna be that kind of a retreat for Judy? Stop texting! This is a nature retreat! Lick your hypno frog! Oh, it's slimy. There's a hypno frog in this terrarium. Yes, it's yours. You caught it. I don't know how you caught the terrarium. I guess that's what happens when you're rich. When you get a frog, all of a sudden there's a terrarium. Stop texting! What other things can this booty get up to? Oh, Judy! I know you don't like the, uh, the old toilet at our apartment, but this might put it into perspective a little bit. I know. She's texting. She's like, I caught a dragon. It's a frog, Judy. Stop lying to your friends. Are you texting, darling? Why does Ferd look like the coolest one of Judy's friends? And he's just like, bow, yeah. All right, since you can't stop texting, I'll invite your crush in, but I really don't think your crush likes you. Hey, sweetie. So can you just come to this like random crazy place? There he is. Oh, he's doing sit-ups. What if, what an asshole. Call him over. Get over here, I stink! This is our couple's retreat. It's not a couple's retreat. This was a retreat to find yourself, Judy. And he's on his phone. And she's thinking about school. And she wants to punch him in the face. What the hell is this? Judy. You like diamonds, Judy? Get them for yourself, girl! Yeah, this is called the gold digging workout plan. Instead of finding a man, you go out and you dig your own crystals. Judy found some quartz. What's wrong, Judy? I stink! I know, that's what happens when you're out on a retreat. Just enjoy it. Okay, this could be the moment. Well, you can't call him over, why not? Sim's too far away to call over, really? All right, get close enough so he can hear you shouting. Get over here! Okay, now walk away a little bit. You gotta play hard to get. Now you gotta call him over again. Darling! Hello! You don't have to gold dig. You get your own diamonds, and you don't gotta follow guys around. You just make them follow you by screaming at them. Come on! I stink! Just come over here and help Judy catch a fish, would you? Where are you? He's running away! Hey! Okay, Judy, uh, just ignore him. Just go fishing, would you? You look, you look completely glamorous. Your booty looks amazing. You don't need no man. Look at the grotto! It's stunning, isn't it? Oh, did she catch a python? Judy caught a 17.04 kilogram batfish worth 40! This is how we pay the bills, Judy! Is Judy a fisherman? I'm gonna see what that little puke darling is up to. I don't wanna come in, I just wanna leave. <laughs> she's gonna be stinkier than she's ever been. But hey, are you having fun? A little bit. She's having some fun fishing. She just stinks so badly. I wish she could bathe in this water. I'm not gonna bathe somewhere where fish poop. 
Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for Judy. Okay, so Judy got kicked out of the water, and now she's gonna finally... Oh, me! Oh, she stinks. Oh, and he doesn't like that. I want chicken and asparagus. <laughs> no, Judy. All you get is cake. A uh, dinosaur? Oh, what's funny? A chicken dance? Hey, he liked the chicken dance. Keep going with the chicken dance. <gasps> They're hugging! But he keeps, like, going... You know, like, I totally come to this grotto, like, every weekend, and it's just, like... It just calms me, you know? Like, it's just like, it's kind of like a meditation. Okay, the, I guess these guys are having a true, authentic teenage hangout right now. They are facing away from each other, and they're just on their phones. Did you learn anything at the grotto, Judy? Or did you just learn that you caught a frog and frogs exist? Oh, she's got an idea. Texting. Mm, okay. Judy is starving. She's trying to eat the frog. Oh, itsy bitsy spider, Judy, that's your favorite jam! Hey, she's texting and kind of bopping her head a little bit. I guess she'd be embarrassed if she got too into it. She's gonna make a move. I like your muscles, and, you know, this grotto's kind of lonely, so maybe do you wanna, like, you know, you know, like, hook up a little bit? I think he wants to, but she stinks. Oh, oh, he's sick. Oh. You know what, Judy? You don't need darling. You don't need him at all. Yeah, tell him off. She's a changed woman now. She's her own big booty now. She don't need no man. I'm pissed off that I ever invited you here. Your singing voice kind of sounds like a choking squirrel. Your singing voice kind of sounds like my mom Janice's farts. After Mexican tacos. Judy stinks. She's far too uncomfortable to do anything. But I think she's learned something very important today. She keeps thinking about taking the train back home. I think that she has a new appreciation for her crappy house, her crappy bed. The one that she doesn't want to sleep in. Maybe she'll go home and she'll actually give the baby a bath. She misses home. I mean, Judy's changed and she misses home, but they're still so full of themselves. Nice seeing you, darling. I'm leaving. Judy is going home. She's not going to teach darling how to get home. She's just going by herself because you know what? She's an independent woman. She's learned some new things today. I think that the Forgotten Grotto was good for her. I'm not sure if it was worth missing school because her grades are garbage, but what can you do? Oh, she's back home and the puke's already staring at her. And he needs to shit. Have fun with that, Judy. Have fun with that. There's a lot of stress and tension in our Sims house right now, but I think that Judy's perspective has changed. Look, she's even thinking about her bed and she wants to go sleep in it. I can't believe it. I hope you guys are enjoying the Sims series. If you do, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys like it. And don't forget to subscribe. Give that